Hello and welcome to Royal Vibes. Prince Harry appeared to mention issues with his mansion in Montecito during Meghan Markle's latest interview. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. So guys, before we get right into it, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure to subscribe, give the video a like and make sure to watch it right up to the very end. The Duke of Sussex made a comment in passing about his 12 million pounds house after introducing himself to the journalist who penned his wife front cover article released on monday alison p davis who pens the story recalled complimenting prince harry on his home after being welcomed in the six in line to the throne she said responded with an exasperated remark harry was quoted in the new york magazine the cut said we are fixing all these things the pipes but that's a whole story in itself Prince Harry only made a brief appearance in the magazine interview, mostly to speak about the organization he and Meghan launched in late 2020, Archwell. The Duchess, the star of the profile story, spoke further about her home in the star-studded neighborhood of Montecito in Santa Barbara for which they paid $14.65 million, that is £12.49 million. After saying they initially resisted going to view the residence as they didn't have jobs, when they first moved to California, the Duchess recalled one of the main details that stood out for Prince Harry when they finally decided to go and see the mansion. She said, One of the first things my husband saw when he walked or when we walked around the house was those two palm trees. See how they are connected at the bottom? He goes, My love, it's us. Meghan and Harry relocated to the u.s in late march 2020 days before they were in the to relinquish their roles as senior members of the firm they initially stayed at the beverly hills home of producer tyler perry who as claimed in megan's latest interview also provided them with security detail the duke of sussex mentioned living in the los angeles area for a few weeks when he appeared in an episode of the armchair expert podcast in may last year speaking about media intrusion he said, now living here, it's a feeling frenzy, yeah. You know, we spent the first three and a half months living in Tyler Perry's house. He let us stay there. The helicopters, the drones, the paparazzi, cutting the fence, it was madness. The response was, well, what do you expect if you live in LA? Well, first of all, we didn't mean to live in the LA. This is a staging area, you know, before we find a house. But how sad if you live in LA and you are a well-known figure, you just have to accept it. The Duke later added the situation was much better in Montecito, although he revealed his A-lister neighbor Orlando Bloom had been in touch to warn him of a couple of paparazzi waiting to take covered pictures of passing celebrities. Meghan, Harry and Archie moved into their new mansion in the summer of 2020 and have been paying for it with mortgage. The residence includes 9 bedrooms and 16 bathrooms, as well as a pool, a home office and a large garden, including a chicken coop. Why the Montecito Mansion, you know, has become their family home, the Sussexes retain also Frogmore Cottage in Windsor. Meghan, Harry and their two children stayed there in June when they visited the UK to celebrate the Platinum Jubilee. During his stay, or during this day, Meghan told her interviewer she packed up the belongings after left there prior to stepping back as walking royals so guys with that we have come to an end of this episode thanks a lot for watching until next time bye bye